on the uh, little tiny fist that a rat built. Oh, wait, oh, wait a second. The thing is on. Hello? <clears throat> Hello. This is Mort McCoy. And welcome to the first of Headmaster Mort's edutapes. Today we're talking about your camp. Now, former vault resident or someone who killed a vault resident, let's start off with the basics. Placing your camp. When plunking down your camp, C-A-M-P, that's an acronym, for the first time, remember to... Crap. Where'd that note that? Oh, here we go. Remember to take the lay of the land. Consider the grade of the terrain, general defensibility, and proximity to your surroundings. Could that cliff edge be used to protect your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your camp. Construction! Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment. <clears throat> details, damn, I had to get that one on. An eye for details are a must. You should take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camp's patented intuitive construction interface. But don't worry, we'll cover construction in gory detail in the next of Headmaster Mort's edutapes. So long. Get your jobs. Come on, Mort, what, what, what was that? <clears throat> Hello, dedicated listeners. Welcome back to Headmaster Mort's edutapes. Today, in this second tape, we are talking construction. Now, the first step of construction is... Wait, what? Is that soda? Soda's red, right? Wait, oh. <clears throat> electing. First, electing what you're going to build. Once you've made that election, it's just three easy questions to construction success. One, is the location I've selected going to work for an object of the size and shape I'm building? Two, have I read the schematics thoroughly? And three, do I have all the required materials too? Who the hell bled on my notes? Saul! If I find that was you, you're gonna bleed on... Wh whatever, just finish work. <clears throat> Short on materials? Loot the local junkyard, mills, and warehouses for parts. Missing a critical schematic? Your local vendors might have just what you're looking for. And on that note, this has been Headmaster Mort's Edutapes, Edutapes. See you again soon. Solomon, so help me, this better be damn. Where are you hiding? Welcome back, lovely listeners, to Headmaster Mort's final tape in the camp series. Powering your camp. After listening to the second tape, you should already be well-trained enough to build a generator. If you haven't yet done so, I'll wait. I do, 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 da. I do, 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 ah, screw it. All right, I, I'll assume you nailed it. Now, generators are the heart of your camp power system. Once your generator is built, all you need to do is connect it to the object that needs power with a wire. Though, be aware, your wire will need a clear, unobstructed path to establish and maintain a direct connection. Some objects, however, like simple light bulbs, do not require a direct connection. All you need to do is run a wire from your generator to a power pylon. Place the power pylon near your lights, then voila! Let there be light! Well, this has been Headmaster Mort's Camp Construction Holotapes. Please check back with Headmaster Mort himself at The Wayward to learn more about his other exciting courses, including Mort, can I still eat this? And Mutations, am I a monster now? And thanks again for listening. Ha! Nailed it!
Message uploaded. Initiating broadcast pulse. Attention, all consumers. You're not Crane. The hell's going on here? Crane found the treasure. Holy shit. Where is he? Probably not much more than you. He came to Appalachia, not far back, hunting for the same treasure everyone else is. Last time I saw him, he mentioned something about an abandoned storage facility he'd picked up some details on, but beyond the general, he didn't share. Now, your turn. Where is he? The wayward, huh? It might be I pay the place a visit. Appreciate the tip, not Crane. Good luck out here. You crane? Uh, quite the setup you got here. So, rumor is you've got information our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. Scout's honor. Excuse me? How does this jerk know your name? You're working together. What? No! Can't you see they're full of-
Oh, hey there. Looking forward to hearing what you thought of those tapes. Now, what'd you want to discuss? Did you now? What did you think? I mean, yeah, that's what I thought, too. I, I figured I'd do a couple more batches. I mean, I'll have this thing down. Headmaster Mort will be a household name before you know it. Thanks for being honest. Now, was there something else I could do for you? Some other time, then. Well, you don't look too worse for wear. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding? <laughs> Good to know. Then that's where their boss will be. You need to go- wait, 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 West Virginia Lumber? Wait, that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why, exactly? Was wandering up that way not too far back. The Lumber Company? That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. You've seen those Frankensteins. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, Duchess, these guys might be tougher than advertised. Hmm. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing, unless you got some big guns. Could try and luck your way inside, maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. There was also this, uh, let's say, special scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. You'll find them at Anchor Farm if these thugs haven't already run them off. But if they are still there, well, they probably managed to work something out with them. Hey, it couldn't hurt to find out what it was. Found him living in the stalls at Tyler County Fairground. Guy kept claiming he knew the best way to run the mutants out of the mill. But listen, I couldn't get him this bill, Hal. Probably have a better chance he'll share what he learned with someone who still has an entire face. Well, that's a good thing, because that's all I've got. If you haven't already explored up that way, the fastest route back would be via Vault 76 and trekking north from there. And take care of yourself, all right? You're doing us a big one here. Did you see the anchor out front? How do you think it got here? Plenty of unclaimed space up the road. Maybe you should give it a visit. Trying to let you know you're trespassing. Free to leave whenever you like. Treasure. Nothing but trouble. We'd hope to start new lives here. Private ones. So much for that. Just like everyone else. Except we like our privacy. West Virginia L No. Don't know anything about them. Now I'd like you to leave. You'll go. Fine. 
We worked out a deal. Supplies for protection. What do you need to know to leave? Once a month. Food, ammo, scrap. Murray and me take it up to the mill ourselves. Gave us a password to get in. Blue Danube. Plenty. A dozen, minimum. They don't let us in the main building, so I can't say how many were camped out in there. Bunch of cons from back east. They're not crazy, though. Not like the Blood Eagles or the Scorch, say. You can reason with them. They don't know how to farm or hunt. We do. So we worked out a deal. If you have something you can offer them, you probably can too. Then by all means, beat it. Unless there's something else. Bye. Oh, yeah. You're not one of those creeps. What, you, you here to rob me? What joke's on you? Don't got nothing. Looking for peace and quiet? Presume those creeps down there would keep everyone else away. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. Folks have been doing some building at that track across the way. Uh, you could try your hand at it. Oh, I'd steer clear of the West Virginia lumber up the road. There were a bunch of ogres or whatever up there, but it sounds like someone might have given them the boot. Not sure it's an improvement. At least you could smell the ogres coming. Me? Come here. I'm a science experiment. Broke out of a government lab, trying to decide whether to use my powers for good or evil. Figured I'd have a drink while I thought. Ah, uh, you talked to the well-done guy, huh? Well, yeah. yeah, I got a little trick up my sleeve. Could kill them all, if I wanted. But I'm not just giving it away. You gotta get me something. Government-issued astral transporter. Snagged it on my way out of the lab. Takes your physical form and drops it right into the astral plane. Makes you nearly invisible! Makes it a whole lot easier to take folks out of this world at the same time. Makes you invisible, not agile. I can't run so good since I escaped from the government. But I bet you can. Island nearby has got a big nest in it. Bring me an egg? I'll give you what I got. Something nasty enough that I don't want to do it? Up to you, though. Mind the locals out there.
You find me my egg? Well, now you understand why I didn't want to go. Does he get me my egg or not? Well, hello. That is a beauty. When you're hatched, you're gonna call me Papa. Here, those are mine into the bargain. Make the most of them. <laughs> 